the, the surplus capacity that we have to the tune of 5,600 megawatt daily during the peak is a game changer. Not only that, but the, I, the IPPs were based on an IRP that assumed 5% growth. We're not seeing 5% growth. In fact, we're seeing a negative growth of energy. And we have surplus. It means that we, we can, any addition of megawatts and capacity that is higher than the ESCO marginal cost of production cost the economy money. We have to accept that we have a surplus and the environment has changed, that we must implement renewables at the pace that the country can afford. The current surplus capacity will last until 2021 and we have to speedily, speedily conclude the IRP process so that we make the decisions to build additional capacity so that come 2021, we don't go back to 2007 again where we don't have capacity. There is space for all. We're not anti-renewable. We support the call to have 80,000 megawatt of renewable by 2050, but we must build it at the pace that we want. 80,000 megawatt of renewables is currently almost a twice the size of ESCOM. It's a lot, and we support that. What we are saying is that tariff matter, the cost of electricity matter, it cannot be that simply because it's a pass-through, then we have to be oblivious to the impact on the consumer. It cannot. It is very wrong to simply say, ESCOM is policy, the consumer is paying for it, just do it. It can't be right. We, we have given you a simulation today, and we have showed you that on a day-to-day -day basis, is costing us between, between 40 and 60 million rents a day when the sun shines and the wind blows and it displaces the cost, ESCOM cost that comes at an average cost of 32 cents per kilowatt hour when they come at an average cost of 193 cents. We, we, we want to talk, we want to engage, and we hope that everybody will see the sense in what we're saying, that when you are in an environment of surplus and you add more capacity, it does not make sense. And you cannot argue that is the school fees you pay for reduced prices of renewables. We do hope that everybody will be sensible, and we hope that they will see uh, through us that we do not mean harm. We want to make the renewable agenda work, but we want to make it work together at the right pace so that we can all, have, all afford it. Clearly the system is, is, is adequate up until 2021. And people need to accept that the system is adequate until 2021. And if they force ESCOM to sign renewables, that will deliver within 2021 simply because it's government policy. They are not doing the consumer a favor. We engage every day. I mean, uh, this afternoon we have a meeting with DOE to carry on with the discussions that we are having. The government has set up an interministerial team that must report back to government. And I think everybody is taking this very seriously. We understand the impact, we understand the reputational harm to the country because there was a commercial process that was fair, that was transparent, that is reputable, that is regarded as a success. But we need to balance all these things. Cost matters. Cost really matter. It cannot be that you think that because you've run a process, process you must pay a higher price. It can't be.